I just want to shave a little bit out there and on the side so it fits my small ends better. So I guess cut to me cleaning this thing and being ready to stain it. A few moments later. So now I got a wet rag. I'm ready to clean this thing before applying the stain. I did blow some air with the air compressor to get the dust out of the cracks and stuff. This will also make the grain pop out. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Timmy, tell me. You cannot. You went to sleep about five minutes ago. So yeah, I just want to get rid of all of the dust and make sure that it is really ready to be stained. So yeah, it is clean now and all shiny because of the water. Hopefully it will come out good looking with this water base stain because Timmy just made me realize that I had water based Stain. So now I will try to hang it up to this rope, I believe. Probably, but it's kind of low. I'll do that. To do so, I will do a bit of recycling and use this old bunny snare. I will use that as a wire to hang the stock. I guess I could use some rope to prevent this from rubbing there and maybe causing issues, but I'm too lazy to go pick up a knife to cut this rope and I think it is a bit big, so let's not do that. By the way, it is 2.11 a.m. and I got a comment reply from Gun Wild One. I think he's in California though. I don't know which time is it for you, but which time it is. Quelle heure il est? By the way, Sorry for my bad English. So I got this hanging there. I don't think this is really in frame, so I will move everything, I guess. Is this lens looking decent? Thank me later. So yeah, I will put something on the ground, probably the dog blanket try to protect my hands maybe if I find my girlfriend's box of gloves so now I got this stain mixed up pretty good I will put a little bit in a cup and then use a piece of shirt to wipe it on it w wipe it on it okay nibs at walnut and steel and Timmy told me to wipe the excess off too so I will use another rag to do that I will now remove my mic and try to get some decent audio footage and not carry this thing on me because my wireless Bluetooth mic is not as good as this one and I'm trying to give you guys the best audio I can. I got a cup of stain, I got a rag, but I don't have gloves. I will run and try to find that. and do some kind of time lapse slash you know <laughs> pro youtuber so yeah wish me luck guys well I'm not good at it but hopefully it works I don't know if I'm putting not enough or whatever, but I'd rather do more coats than do a bad coat, I guess. I will not act like I know what I'm doing because I don't. So yeah, Jim said to let it on for about five minutes, I think. And it must be five minutes now and I'm not even done rubbing. So it's right to go faster. And he also said to start from top to bottom and I'm not talking in the right direction. 
So yeah, and I'll try to go faster now because I need to wipe it down or whatever. So yeah, I did not do a perfect job, mainly because I was touching it too much and did not start from top to bottom methodically, like Timmy told me to do. So that's on me. I don't know if I will need to sand a little bit before putting another another coat tomorrow. At spots like uh, the other side, right there. And right there, I believe this is because I touched it. You said before touching it again. So now I will remove the gloves to make sure that I don't have some extra stain on them. And I will try to wipe a little bit off, but I think it is right already because I'm too slow. Two tips I can give you, don't use metal wire through your wooden stock because it can break that a little bit but at this point this is an optimus and I'm learning, okay? The other tip is to go faster while applying the stain and just wipe it off later. Just don't put too much at one spot or touch it with your gloves and you know, so now I have to leave that dry a little bit, maybe sand some rough spot and do another coat. So I'll see y'all later. Hopefully my China microphone will work for a long time. It is now next morning. This thing is dry. I've cut myself some 320p sandpaper with scissors because I almost destroy my 220 trying to rip it off. I also got some little piece of tape to prevent the snare from, you know, this collapsed and went closer from each other, you know, and this was causing the snare to rub on my stock and did make some tiny scratches, but Let's not care about that. What we care about today is sanding down the small parts where I got too much stain. This is not enough. Hopefully we can blend everything together for the next coat. So I'm gonna go over it with a very light sanding with 320p. This is mainly to try and blend the nice part with the bad part and the next coat will maybe make it look better skip to the time lapse and stuff you don't want it to be too dark but you don't want it to be too light too this is a bit too much so I will go very lightly and hope for the best for the next code. Oops, I went a little light there. But I guess lighter is kind of better than too dark. We will know that later, I guess. So yeah, the main goal of this step is to remove the two dark spots and blend everything together a little bit so it will not show up too much on the next coat. I'm glad I got some tape on there because I'm twisting it and stuff. So yeah. I went a little bit more than very lightly like Timmy recommended. Hopefully once I cleaned it and it is dry, 
it will look better than, than before but I know this is a bit too light instead of too dark now but I did the best I can do this is my first stock refinishing thing so here it goes so I've got this wet rag it is only water I did not use alcohol but this should work good enough to remove the dust before applying another coat of stain I think it should look something like it once I get some oil on there so it is not too bad yet make sure that you get all of the dust off if you want a good finish this is a bit weird and this is where I had a defect previously so I'll try to sand it down a little bit more I don't know if that's some sort of glue or filler but it is not coming off so so yeah it is far from perfect but it is clean now I think it is blending a lot better now so hopefully I will be satisfied with next coat that I will be able to let dry for 24 hours before applying linseed oil I will see y'all later okay okay moment of truth I think I did not take shots for you to see that better so let's not forget <laughs> you're probably seeing the shots as I speak and I talk crap smack smack so it is now looking a lot better it is blending better even though this is a bit lighter now and I don't like that but you know this is a bit lighter but it is looking decent but not great I had a weird thing right there I don't know if this is filler or glue or whatever China did will it blend who knows I will start with a fresh piece of shirt and some stain I will try to go faster because last time I took five minutes to do this part and then stressed for this part and messed it up obviously so I will apply it faster so I can wipe it down faster and hopefully I will be good at it I'm trying to be too fast now because too fast is not good you can put too much like that everywhere and this will show and you don't want that so be quick but not too much so you you want to do it good but do it fast the darker spots that I had were caused by having too much in one spot and not enough right next to it so Yet, I think it will look pretty good. So yeah, you don't want to be very methodic. You just want to put some everywhere quickly and then be methodic to rub it off, I guess. But I will remove my microphone and concentrate on this before I mess this up. So yeah, I messed it up pretty bad, that, that's a bummer. I kind of just want to rub some more on there and hope for the best. I think I will do that because this side is looking pretty nasty. This thing dries fairly quick, so I don't know if I'm, I'm bad at it, tell me.
you can see but yeah not great I'm not happy. I don't really know what to do. I kind of want to sand this side, but I cannot right now. Yep, that's a bummer. And my fingers were getting sticky at the end, full of stain, and I messed it up even more. I think I should just stop touching it because I think I did one there and one there. Yep, I'm bad today. I think the gloves were not that bad of an idea. I kind of regret doing this, but I kind of don't because this will make it so much. This will make it. <coughs> this will make it so much more comfortable to shoe. So even if it is ugly, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess I will cut that and figure what I do later and send an email to Timmy to know if you can save me. Timmy. This is about an hour later. The more I look at it, the more I think it is looking decent. I will still buff it a little bit with 320 grit before applying one more coat. Hopefully next coat will go better than this one. But yeah. Thank you to Timmy for being a nice internet dad, I guess. He made me love this thing again, even though it is not perfect, just like you. Cut to me sending this thing about two hours from now. Okay, so now it is pretty much dry. It has been two hours. It is very slick looking. I like that. So I'm going to go over it quickly with 320 grain sandpaper to smooth that out a little bit to me made me like the finish a little bit more by saying I thought that was the wood grain so now I feel kind of proud about it I will mainly send the finger marks that I did at the end while I was not happy and looking everywhere like uh, this one <laughs> Hopefully you can see that in this. This is very not gray. So yeah, I guess I gave it a pretty good sanding after all, but it seemed to make it look better. I don't know if this side will be exactly the same as this one and I have not been able to remove all of those finger marks so be careful about that if you try to do that. I gotta wipe wipe it's time to wipe wipe looking pretty good when it is wet so if I do that on both sides and it looks decent it will look pretty good with a bit of oil Da, 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 da. <laughs> and another one cleans the dust all right it is now dry I will try to learn from my mistakes and not apply too much this time and go slower and to see something that I want to send off right now good this is way too dark this will show up and I don't like that so I'll be back I will try to stain the inside first and this time I will put a really small amount each time I do because I don't want to put too much and not be able to wipe it off before it dries because this thing dries very fast. So yeah, I try to wipe off the edges and 
not put too much anywhere if I don't want to end up sending it again. So yeah, other than this thumb mark and my nice, uh, we call that, we call that cutex and Quebecois that too, mon de Chris. We made a nail polish front side, nail polish, nice color. It's a uh, anal brown. <clears throat> Good. A few moments later. <laughs> so now it is dry to touch and pretty much dry. It has been a long moment. I don't know how much time, but I just sanded the thumb mark that I made while doing the last coat. Now I want to do another small coat and hope that it will be the last one and look good. So I will concentrate and do that and quit talking. It is the last coat so it is crucial that I go slow and that I make a good job. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with this coat but I might do one more just to make it look even better especially on this side it is a bit rough in this area but overall not too bad this is a bit rough too because this is the spot where it dried too fast but hey my first rifle not horrible okay so yeah this is another 15 minute clip to edit I will be back later to probably give it one very last coat because I think it will blend the other side a bit better and I like it darker so yeah I will do the rest of the staining and sending off camera this is gonna be the last coat I know it will because this is four five five I think yes so this is enough this is starting to look good and shiny. All this will need is some oil. After waiting around 24 hours, I will sand this dark spot a little bit, give it another light coat, and I will be done for the staining part at least. So let's skip to the result of my last coat. Hopefully I did not ruin, 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 ruin tout ce travail, uh, all, all of this work. The big issue with stain is that you cannot really stain a little bit of it. You need to remove all of it if you want to start over. It is not like paint where you can remove a tiny bit, put some more on top of it and the finish will look good. This is going into the wood and if you sand, you're not sanding the excess that went deeper than you know, I, I probably said that before, but take my advice and put some very thin coats and go slowly, be careful and have fun. By the way, I'm not a professional at any of this. And if you are, or if you want to share some tricks in the comments, please do tell us what kind of stain you like on what kind of wood, because kind of wood will also change the color that you get at the end. And what kind of finish you get? You, do you use some varnish or do you use some true oil, linseed oil or any kind of oil that can catch fire if you dispose of it in the garbage? But yeah, I will go stain that thing and dirty my fingers again. It is now the next day and I'm not going to lie. This thing looks pretty good. I really like the color. It is a nice tone and doesn't have too many mess ups, I guess. There is a bit too much here, small stuff, but that will be good enough for me. I will try to get a decent picture of it when it's all finished, but for now, I will remove it from there and use a small brush like that to do the holes there that doesn't have enough stain in my opinion i just wanted to look better this is a small detail i will most likely put too much in there to have a dark hole 
I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if you like it. I will. I don't care. This is all a learning experience. And if I regret doing this, don't do it. If I ever do this again, and I might do that for the oil, I will most likely do it right about now. But I will put back a screw from the butt pad down there and hang it from there. Do not have a risk of damaging this area or to... I don't remember why I'm doing this. And also not to have the wire in the way while you stain, okay? There is a fair bit of stain in there, but not all the way in. I will take a picture of this one to insert right there or there, or I don't know. Good. I don't want to touch it too much, but kind of have to. So yeah, I got a snare wrapped around one of the butt pad screws and hang into this rope that we used to dry some stuff next to the fireplace. So now I'm ready to oil it and I will be able to rest it easily on there. Now I guess I can take my girlfriend's little brush and a bit of stain and finish up my screw holes. I'm not going to use any specific technique. I'm just gonna take the rest of the stain that I kept into those two cups. I don't know if it was this thick, but I don't think it will matter for what I'm doing with it. So I will apply some on the brush, just like that, and go into the hole where the stain did not go when I was rubbing with the piece of shirt. I will be really careful to not put any on this stock where it is stained already because it could make a pretty bad mark and you don't want that. Disclaimer, I am putting a lot in there just because, you know, I don't want to do five coats in this hole and I think a darker hole could look better. In fact, I thought about painting this black. So I just got done doing both sides and waited a little bit for it to dry. But now I'm going to take the excess off. Basically you do the same technique as you will do to remove a booger in your nose. I guess I will get a Q-tips, wipe that off a little bit and probably just put some more stain right away because I don't know. The Q-tips was a bad idea. It is not soft enough in there for the cotton to not rip off and leave some little lints, I believe you call this in English. Maybe not. Fibers. The stuck looks cracked in there. I did not notice that before using the light. So I guess I will have to use CA glue like model Nutty would have told me to do. Rest in peace. So yeah, I'm happy with this one, but it is cracked, which I did not notice before. For some reasons, the stain did not stick on this one so I will have to do it again and this one also looks kind of cracked so maybe this is how they do it I will redo only this side quickly and let it dry so this is done all I need to do now is wipe it off after waiting about five minutes I will not show that because it is lame I will Pick you guys up I guess when I will glue that I think it's a good idea because it is not looking good especially on this side this side is not too bad it only looks deeper than it should but this side looks like it is about to split somewhat okay everything is dry now in that hole so I am back to try a quick fix recommended by model Nazi that passed away the first time that he told me to do that I was like what is he talking about but apparently 
I'm doing it right now. Model Nutty was the kind of guy to do a project with Kool-Aid and glue and do better than me with the proper products so I guess I can listen to him basically what I'm doing right now is trying to fill the gap with baking soda it is a pain to take a picture in there but you get it I tried to fill the void with some baking soda now I will take some Loctite 404 quick set instant adhesive or uh, Cyanocrylate, like Model Nutty will say, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding, he was calling that CA glue, but I guess this is what it means. By the way, thanks to everybody for the tips. Oh shoot, last year that told me to buy linseed oil that I cannot afford right now. And Timmy that is helping me doing it. And Nibs that answered a couple of questions. And I'm probably forgetting someone. Model Nati, that is now gone, but thanks to you for your knowledge. See you now. Please don't mess your stock with some glue that will not come up. I guess using Saudas could have been a better idea. There is a, a washer going there anyway, so nobody will see that. Mm. The glue started to be stringy. And it's almost stuck to my stuck. Stuck to my stuck, yeah. So, I need a little bit more, but don't want to risk it. So I will put the glue on the little thing. So I guess that's another thing that I could have done. And this is why I like to watch videos before doing stuff, because you often learn from other people errors so yeah, I will put that back in the fridge, wait one hour, two hour, and maybe do the other side depending of if I like this one. So, get.